Did you hear something? Was the mighty Archon addressing our pack of filthy mongrels? Commander, how are you alive? Balthazar killed you. I watched from the shadows as you fell. We knew Balthazar was having you watched, but he struck before we could send a warning. What happened after you... died? In time, I'll tell you. Where I came to be, what I saw, how I escaped, everything that happened since my death. But first, you must help me. In exchange for that knowledge, absolutely. Anything the Order can do, name it. I want to use Joko's army to stop Balthazar. Commander, the Order of Shadows is powerful, accomplished, capable of near miracles. But we can't deliver an army of Awaken to you. No one, save Joko himself, can do that. Archon Iberu could. The Archon? I... I suppose Joko's marshals might follow the orders of the Archon. If those orders came from the King himself. I have it on the best authority that they would. But the Order has no sway with Archon Iberu. The last time we caught Joko's attention, he killed 30 of our agents. I'll take care of Iberu. I just need to know where to find him. And Joko's marshals. I suppose Grand Vizier Udamishi in the Bone Palace to the south would know where the marshals are. As for the Archon, the fastest and safest way to engage him would be to lure him here. But he usually considers the area south of the Wall unworthy of his attention. If he thought the Sun Spears were rebelling down here, he'd have to come running to end the threat, right? There aren't enough Sun Spears left to stage an uprising. It only takes one. And they don't have to be a Sunspear. A few attacks on awakened camps, some conspicuously placed Sunspear banners. That would look like a Sunspear declaration of war, no matter who was responsible. It's risky. Very risky. Be careful, Commander. Your next death could be your last. Here's a perfect spot to start a fake revolution. This one's for you, Archon. Perfect. Looks like a rebellion's brewing. The banners are up. The camps are down. That should get Iberu's attention. Now to the Bone Palace. To wait. Commander, your son's spear ruse seems to have succeeded. The Awakened are on high alert, and earlier the Order spotted Iberu en route here to the palace. So, we find the Archon, take him out, then use Kaz's imposter trick to take his place, right? It's not a trick. Mesmers don't do tricks. We utilize illusion. Yeah, yeah. You guys are worse than elementalists. from the casino. You're lucky I don't have time to deal with you right now. If you're looking for the massive Sunspear army who harassed your camps and marked your territory, I'm it. Outlander garbage! Your pretending to be Sunspear profanes the name! Then you're really gonna hate what he pretends to be next. Take the Archon out! Quickly! Heal as one! Now that the real Iberu's out of the picture, it's time to bring in the imposter. Kaz? Uh, I'm not looking forward to looking like an awakened, but go on. 
Mesmerize me. Okay, one Archon in his entourage, coming up. There. So, how do I look? Like something that's been dead and buried for a year, then dug up and dragged back to life. How about me? Uh, same. Let's just hope this fool's a vizier. See why they call this the Bone Palace. Are those centaur bones? I guess Joko hates to see any dead body go to waste. If you're a human, you're awakened. If you're a centaur, you're architecture. Archon Ibaru! It... it was an accident! Please forgive me, Archon! So does your arrival mean the Sun Sphere Uprising has been crushed? Like it never existed. I'm here to deliver plans for King Joko's next great victory to Grand Vizier Udumishi. Of course, Archon. The Grand Vizier is inside, conferring with War Marshal Ecolo. Please don't tell Udumishi I attacked an Archon. Please! to kill here. Yes. Palace too well guarded. Nonsense, Worm Marshal. Of course King Joko values the contribution of your Worm Core. Has his most elegant highness not always insisted your battle worms accompany his troops into combat? Yes. But I worry he only wants them as emergency rations. Grand Vizier Udumishi. Archon Ibaru, welcome. I trust you've come to quell this unrelenting Sunspear insurgency. I bring orders from King Joko, who commands that we turn our might against the true threat. The fallen god Balthazar. He has tasked me with leading his army against the disgraced deity. I trust that you will make the necessary arrangements. I'm honored, Archon, but also confused. I didn't realize Joko had returned. And you know that in his wisdom, Joko has only given me authority over civil matters, not military. Perhaps I misspoke. That's quite unlike you, Archon. You're usually so precise. Or perhaps you misheard me. You must forgive Urumishi, Archon. He can't possibly understand how little attention heroes of battle such as you and I, pay to the job descriptions of civil servants. I should hope the Vizier was not questioning the direct orders of his all-seeing king. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't never question the will of the most munificent Joko. Unlike my dear acquaintance, I pledge to you the unquestioned fealty of myself and my worm core. I trust Marshals Ogun and Aronko will do the same. And how might I contact the other Marshals? You'll find Troop Marshal Ogun at his camp southeast of Vajin. He's currently training new recruits there. And Beast Marshal Aronko is drilling the Kingdom's cavalry from atop a plateau near the Necropolis. King Joko will be told of your assistance, Worm Marshal. And Vizier, I promise your name will come up as well. Do not like fighting forged. Why not? Or can only be defeated soon. Balthazar's honor will be broken. All of King Joko's enemies must be destroyed. Thank you for not mentioning my earlier assault to the Grand Vizier. And please don't tell Joko. I beg you, Archon, please. He scares me. You're a disgrace to the uniform. Commander, you have a real talent for navigating the world of bureaucratic kiss-assery. Now all we have to do is dupe the other two marshals into joining the cause. I nearly slipped up with the Vizier. We should split up, see what we can learn about the other two beforehand, to avoid mistakes. Can we at least lose these disguises for now? The buzzard stairs are making me nervous. There. Better. <sighs> Much. <sighs> but I think the stench is still clinging to my fur. I believe that was there before. We'll meet up near Vejin and compare notes on the troop marshal. Good luck. Commander, calling Timey. Come in, Timey. Dragon Lab here. You've got questions? Timey's got answers. So, first off, you're currently alive, right? I only ask because your vital status has been so fluid lately. Still breathing. Though if you were here, you'd be asking about Ridlock and Kanak. That's intriguing. And a little frightening. Care to elaborate? We're impersonating Joko's soldiers. Kaz cast an illusion so they look like the local undead. <laughs> they must hate that. They're also pretty. Except Kanak. How'd you manage to keep your warm-blooded good looks? The officer I'm impersonating was alive and well. Until I killed him. Nobody knows he's gone yet. We're mustering Joko's army to fight Balthazar's. It's our best shot at getting Orin back before... Before Balthazar uses her against Krakatura can ruin everything! Well, don't let me delay you! Go after her! Commander, now that you're here, I can put us back into a Mordant Crescent, guys. Hooray. Was anyone able to learn anything useful about the Troop Marshal? The Order of Shadows says the Forged have a history of attacking his training facility here. So there's no love lost between Troop Marshal Ogun and the Forged? If we sell this to Ogun as revenge against Balthazar, maybe he'll sign on. If we can convince him that the Archon's the guy who will get it done. Archon, sir. Welcome. You honor us with your presence. I bring orders directly from the most tenacious King Palawa Joko for the Troop Marshal's ears only. Yes, sir. 
Follow me. Archon, greetings. Worm Master Ecolo told me you might come calling. Then you know that King Jogo has asked me to gather and lead his armies against Balthazar. And I can think of no greater honor than to follow the storied Archon into battle. Unfortunately, the Forge have a huge foundry nearby, with a portal they use to refresh their ranks. If I were to leave now, there would be no one to monitor the troops and supplies that are coming in and out of the site. Why haven't you just attacked the foundry and destroyed the portal? Uh, this is a training camp. I don't have the seasoned troops I'd need to attack a target that big. If I did your job for you and found and destroyed the portal, you'd have no excuse not to follow me into combat. Archon, if you can do that with these recruits, I'd follow you into the underworld and back. Maybe next time. For now, just watch how the Mordant Crescent gets it done. Then start packing your kit for Kodash. I've only had time to teach these recruits basic combat commands. The Forged have kidnapped many of my recruits. If you see any inside, please get them out. I need all the bodies I can get. I suggest you watch and learn from the safety of your camp. Maybe next time you won't be so cowed by a horde of empty armor. to succeed where Ogun couldn't, with these recruits. The portal's got to be through that gate. This explains how Balthazar is able to maintain armor and troop levels this far south. There's a portal up on that walkway. Just gotta find a way to reach it. That should bring Ogun on board. Impressive, Archon. Your reputation as a leader and a strategist is clearly well earned. I've slowed the forged reinforcements, but the key to stopping them is to take out Balthazar. A worthy goal. One I look forward to helping you achieve. Count me and my soldiers in. Assemble your troops and meet me outside Kodash. Once I command the full force of Joko's armies, the shunned god will fall. Who 
Okay, Kaz, Commander's back. Can we lose the maggot wear? I hate to admit it, but as unpleasant as Kazmir's illusion is, it does appear to be working. Uh, I guess so. Next time, how about you three be the Awakened, and I'll be your captured Char prisoner. Nice try, Cuddles. <laughs> that had better not stick. Only one of Jogo's marshals is left. Shall we split up and ask around about Beast Marshal Oronko? It worked this time. We'll regroup again near the necropolis. Hail, Commander. Or should I say, Archon. Have you seen Ritlock or Kanak? Cuddles and Kanak arrived early. They want to be done with these disguises, so they already headed to Aronko's camp. Archon, your envoys are meeting with Beast Marshal Aronko now. My envoys? <sighs> I should have never let them go in alone. Hail, Archon. Your representatives and I were just discussing the situation about Baldazar. I see. How presumptuous of them. <sighs> Forgive us, Archon. We meant no disrespect. We sought only to expedite matters, Archon. Mongrels! Next time you step out of line... I'll put you both back in the graves I salvaged you from. Now go! Beast Marshal, might I suggest that the next time Joko sends his Archon to speak with you, you not start the meeting without him? I assure you, Archon, nothing of import was discussed. In fact, they spoke highly of you, boasting of your superior riding skills. Of course. I like to think my mounted troops are without equal. Would you honor me with a demonstration of what makes you superior? Are you questioning my abilities? I mean no slight. But a mounted soldier requires more than just exceptional riding skills. Necromantic draining is essential if you hope to ride against Balthazar's horde. Show me how it works. If your soldiers can master the technique, how difficult can it be? You are most gracious, Archon. This way, please. I'd be honored to guide you through the most basic of our necromantic draining skills. First, please mount up and enter the paddock. As you approach any of these beasts while mounted, you'll sense that the grasp of Joko is available to you. Use it. By draining the life from your target, you can imbue your mount with unnatural speed. My troops use this skill to tame the beast of the valley. Now, if you'll come with me. If you bring half the conviction to the battlefield that you did to my compound, then I look forward to fighting Balthazar with you. With me? Perhaps my companions misspoke in my absence, because Joko himself granted me sole command over his armies. If you're leading Ogun's shambling infantry or Ecolo's worms, yes. But mine is a specialized unit, requiring a particular expertise. As an Archon, I'm not accustomed to auditioning for command. And as this squad's leader, I'm not about to let my troops be slaughtered by someone else's ineptitude. However... Out of respect for the wishes of our beloved King Joko, I'll give you a chance to prove yourself worthy of assuming command. 
I have a test that measures my core members' abilities. If you successfully complete the Valley Beast circuit, I'll reconsider your request. So if I fail, you still have the honor of fighting alongside the Archon. But if I succeed... History shows you can lead. If you catch the beast with the grasp of Joko three times, you'll prove you can ride. To keep pace with the beast, you'll have to drain creatures in the area. There are also a few shortcuts for skilled mounts. All this chatter. It would be faster and easier for me to just seize control of your troops. Very well, Archon. When you're ready to begin, simply step through this portal. Are you ready, Archon? As ever, Beast Marshal. Got it. That's what. There's two. all she asked for, but I think I can do more. That's four. Inspired riding, Archon. You are truly deserving of Joko's faith. I haven't witnessed such prowess since his eminence lashed together six hydras to run down the renegade Terai Osa. I look forward to leading you and the others to victory against the Pretender God. It will be glorious. Hail Palawa Joko, Scourge of Vabi. Great work, Kaz. Now we have three of Joko's top marshals ready to follow us into battle. Did you hear something? Was the mighty Archon addressing our pack of filthy mongrels? I might have gotten a little carried away back there. Maybe if the Archon whistled our marching orders in a higher register. Put you both back in the graves I salvaged you from? <laughs> Seriously, Commander? <laughs> okay, okay, but it did work. Time to focus on the big battle ahead. Balthazar. Make whatever preparations you need, and we'll see each other again at Kodash Bazaar.